What was it like working with John Krasinski for the first time? I uh, adored every second of it. John and I have been friends for years, so you know that working together was kind of like a natural extension of that. It was really fun. Our kids are good friends, so his kids and my kids play all the time. Um, so I loved it. I loved every second of it. Yeah. I'm always excited to work with other actors because, like you, I just learn so much. You know, I learned so much from Kaylee. You know, you learn a lot from younger actors too. You know, because they're not, they have no aff affectation. They're sort of new and honest and great so I loved it and I loved working with Steve Carell who I just think is one of the greatest actors of any generation um, it was pretty great yeah yeah you know I had uh, my brother and I my brother had uh, Pookie and I had Gumby uh, they were based on a TV show that we watched but but our, our actual ifs were not reflective of the TV show mine was a vampire and my brother's was a bear you know, to me, it reminds me a little bit of like the movies I loved as a kid, which were like movies that tackled kind of complex emotional themes, but still, you know, never sacrificed on comedy. They're still really funny, big movies, but still kind of leave you feeling uh, like moved and emotional. So I, I think that that's what makes this movie really special. I had a lot of fun. I mean, I worked with the best scene partner in the world, Kaylee Fleming. She was amazing. It's the best. John is the nicest guy. He's a great director motorcycle going by but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna push through it um, it was great great fun um, we always had fun on the office and we had just as much fun doing this
It is really funny. It is very heartfelt. Um, there's a lot of emotion to it, but um, it's a magical kind of movie that I think will really captivate people. I would say the answer is hope. I think that the idea that you have to give up on your childhood, that you lose all your dreams and hopes and ambitions and love is not true. And so as you're growing up, you can take your child, inner child with you. It was amazing. Here's the truth. I know I'm never going to have a better cast than this, ever, no matter what movie I do after this. They all jumped on board. I've never had faster yeses before, but they all did it because they said they believed in the movie. They believed in this idea of get, uh, reaching your inner child, but also putting good out in the world. Yeah, I had about 10 rounds of auditioning, you know. Yeah, I had about 10 rounds of auditioning to play the unicorn. I was sort of like, I'll do anything, I'll do catering, whatever you need, but um, eventually I got the part, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Honestly, I think that this movie, you are so swept away by the magic of it. It's like adults sort of reclaim their childhood as well and their sense of innocence, their sense of wonder. And it's just so gobsmackingly beautiful. I think it's as much for kids as it is for the moms and dads taking them. I'm so proud to be in it. Listen, he's an actor. He knows how to work with actors. He's very enthusiastic. He knows how to cheer after a take so that you don't feel left out in the cold. And it's a dream, really. Oh, man. Well, I've worked with John a lot over the course of my career, and I know him really well because he's a very good friend of mine. Um, but this movie has so much of him in it. It's, uh, it's got just a beautiful message and so much love and joy. And uh, I think this is more him than anything he's ever done. So it was a pleasure working with him, a pleasure watching him do it. You know, I came in sort of towards the end, and John had I'd been hearing about the movie for three or four years by the time I came in to do the voice that I did in the movie. So it was, it was nice to finally get to see some of what I'd been hearing about. It'll make you feel like a kid again. Um, uh, I think grown-ups will get a lot out of it. They'll really enjoy it, and I think kids will get a lot out of it, too. It really is a movie for everybody, and that's what John was trying to do when he set out to make it. So, mission accomplished. It feels wonderful. Um, I think since be I became a mom, I see far more family movies than I do um, my age movies. I love being able to share movies with my family, and um, I just think family movies have become the best movies because everyone can enjoy them and and there's nothing better than going to the movies together so I think that everyone is going to enjoy this movie I think everyone can relate to this movie and I think it's going to be something that young people and their older people can uh, connect on and it makes everybody feel really good and that's my favorite kind of movie such an honor to be a part of it. Um, I think when I first got the call uh, for, from from John, I just, it just sounded like such a cool premise and such a cool story, and it was really fun um, like recording with with him. So I, I'm excited to meet some of the cast tonight. Well, I think it's deeply relatable because I think everyone knows what it's like to have imaginary friends or at least people and things that kind of are there to comfort you in times where you need them, and uh, I think it, it 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 just made me feel good to know that I was playing one of them because um, I, I definitely have them. It's the perfect uh, movie to watch in the theater because it's going to be, I think, visually really cool. I think there's a really cool story at play and a uh, great cast. I loved working with John. I think he is an actual superhero in real life. He might just be my if. I'm not sure if he's real. Um, he literally, I don't know, He's. I think he's just one of the best. Um, he's He's the best to me. And he put his heart and soul into this project, and I think it really shows, and I'm just lucky to know him. I love going to the movies. I think that it's just a way to escape for many people if you're having a bad day, or even if you're having a good day. And um, I don't know, I think If is just a very positive and light movie, and our world is very dark and negative, so. But I think the theater is just a whole different experience. You know, you get the popcorn, a drink. I like it. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. He's such a positive director. I've never had anyone be so fun on set and so on top of it. It's really amazing to see. Oh, it's so heartwarming and such a fun movie. I mean, just look at Blue over there. He's hysterical. <laughs> um, I think kids of all ages will like it, really. 
so completely honored. Um, everyone was so impressive. Fiona Shaw was so sweet. Kaylee was so sweet. Everyone was really phenomenal to work with. John Krasinski came to me and said, I have written this role for you and I want you and Phoebe Waterbridge to be in it because we were the Londoners. And he then, I said, well, what's the film about? And as he described it, we just melted and became completely entranced by the pleasure of the imagination. Because the one thing that actors have is this unqualifiable, untaxable, ungetatable, unstealable tool. In fact, everybody has it. That's what the film's about, that we all have imagination, which is our free space to be who we want to be. So I was very, I was all in. It's about parents, so the parents can enjoy it. It's about children, so the children enjoy it. And it's about loss and regaining hope, and both generations need that. John Krasinski is such a great creative spirit and artist to work with. I've worked with him before, and he just gives you complete freedom and a sense of play, and there, there's no wrong, and the sky's the limit. So, you know, we got to play around and kick it around. And, in fact, I came up with, once he, you know, educated me of the, about the character and how he came to be and what he was about, sort of, kind of, I, I, I blurted out Cloak and Dagger. That was, and so that was kind of, you know, the signature thing that, you know, came out of this collaboration with John. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Well, such a feel good and, and, and positive uh, message to kind of movie that, uh, you know, you, you, don't, you don't bump into those movies a lot. You know, you either do like really crazy comedies or you do like the pretty dramatic dramas. But this one was this, uh, you know, a feel good family kind of movie. So that gave a, gives a lot of energy to the performance. This one in particular was absolutely magical. Uh, I got to work with John Krasinski, who is an extremely, extremely talented man. Uh, as, as talented as he is funny, he made this amazing movie and let me be in it. Ryan Reynolds, Kaylee Fleming alone, she's absolutely amazing. Uh, I got to be in this beautiful thing that's going to, I think, last forever, because it's an amazing movie. It was fun filming. I play a guy named Jeremy who's having a really bad day and could probably use a visit from his imaginary friend when he was a kid. And maybe that happens. We'll see. <laughs> it teaches you a lot about yourself, and I think everyone could learn a little bit more about themselves. And it helps you understand other people in your lives, too. Uh, definitely, it was really fun working with John Krasinski and with the rest of the crew in general, yeah. I feel like If would be like a very good movie to see with family and friends because like it's just a very heartfelt and touching movie and it's really funny too. He's almost like an If. He is just, he makes people happy, he makes the room better, he knows everything that he's supposed to be doing. He wrote it, directed, acted in it beautifully. He technically, he knows everything and he likes to just keep it light and fun and he's, he, he was amazing. You know, because he keeps it so happy, it, it was easy to tap into that. The whole set, he, he set the tone to make it happy and free and it, it, it touched me to remember how important it is to be, to be curious and to remember the simple things that made us, made me happy. There's something for everybody. And it's such a beautifully made film. It's such a magical film that you want to see it on the big screen, but it's, it's, all, it's as much for adults. Like, I, I was in a bad mood the other day and I saw it and I felt so much better. So I, I feel like it's gonna appeal to everybody.